Uh, working with Trey has been great. He called me. Um, he, he reached out to my office the first time to do his project, and I got on the phone with him. I thought I was talking to a 30-year-old guy, you know. Uh, this kid, uh, he needs to run for president someday because he, he was so articulate and asking all the right questions and talking all of this history about country music and who played on what and who sang what and, you know, and talking about old school stuff. And I was just really impressed. I never dreamed it was a kid until I, I asked him, I said, how old are you, <laughs> you know? And uh, then when I got to meet him, it all made sense. You know, he's, he's a total throwback, but he's, he's a great kid. Uh, real talented, real sharp, got a real good uh, pedigree in the industry and a deep appreciation and love of it. Is that, what do you think kind of makes him unique as an artist? What or? makes him unique to me is that he is a teenage, mixed race, you know, half white, half African American guy who, from Colorado, <laughs> who loves traditional country music. I mean, right there, that's enough to make you go, huh, you know? So he's, and just, just how deep he is into the roots of it and all the friends he has in the business already rooting for him. Uh, lots of great, uh, lots of the uh, heritage artists are, are really pulling for him and uh, uh, lending him their songs to do and, and uh, paying attention to him and you know, uh, hoping that he does well to carry the torch. Well, I think the kind of artist that Trey is now, as a young person uh, just getting started, I think that he is finding his way with, by identifying with some of the older stuff. But he's definitely, uh, on this current project, he wrote a couple of the songs, co-wrote a couple of the songs on the project. And to me, they push a little more progressive, but still have that strong traditional root that he, he likes. So I would call him a neo-traditionalist if I was going to put a tag on him. He's, he's a young kid carrying the torch for the traditional or classic country music uh, and hopefully introducing it to a, a younger audience. But, uh, you know, a la Ricky Skaggs or Randy Travis uh, or George Strait or Keith Whitley back in the 80s. I like that. That's a really good answer. And he's African American, so there's that. I mean, and he'll tell you. I mean, that's a that's an interesting twist for him as well. I mean, I don't know if he'll want me to have that on camera, but well, that's just a on, that's yeah, part of the part of the deal. I mean, it's 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 obvious that that's part of who he is. And uh, but uh, I think I think Trey is is going to be that artist that's going to surprise a lot of people. His record came out really good. I think he's got, uh, you know, he's just getting his feet wet in it as far as trying to do it and, and do it, uh, you know, at a, at a high level. And I think uh, he's, a, he's a quick study and he's got a deep passion for it. He's a great musician too. He plays great guitar. And, uh, Fantastic. That's actually a really good. Is answer. that I, rambling? I know. Oh but, no, gosh, rambling. I can pick up a lot of but, stuff. But uh, if you can edit some of that, find but some nuggets. He's, he's definitely going to like the answer because I thought he was at least a thirty-year-old guy too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've te I've teased him about that. I was like, dude. It was crazy. Because he's like, hey, Kent, um, what are you? You know, I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> it was ridiculous. You know, most of my clients call up and they go, dude. Uh, I gonna be able to get in the studio this week, you know. And Trey's like, "Hey, Kent Wells, you know." With that deep and ridiculous. <laughs> He's so voice. official, you know, so articulate. And how old is he now? Like seventeen. 18? Seventeen, I think. Jeez. I know. That's freaking nuts. Yeah, I, like he was saying something about. Did he ever t mention to you something about he was on? Some